Hello, Calvary Baptist Church. Uh, greetings from Nags Head, North Carolina. To my rear is uh, the Roanoke Sound and Roanoke Island, where the first English settlers came to North America. And in front of me, you can't see it, but is Jockey's Ridge, the largest sand dune on the East Coast. And I want to bring you greetings from Nags Head because I've heard so many great things about what's happening at Calvary Baptist Church. And, and I just want to say how excited I am for you. I think back to last summer, a year ago, when I was with you, and, and you remember how at that time you were as a church, you were really hurting and had been beaten up and, and kind of were, were in, a, in a numb stage. And, and that Sunday, you remember, I, I, I kind of got everybody in church to pull all together and sit together close. And, uh, and, and you needed to huddle and get together at that time because of because you were hurting and, and uh, wondering what was up for the future. But at the same time, you began to do the right things. You began to plan and you began to search for a new pastor and think about the future and had the hope within you that, that God was going to bless your church. And look what he's done. It's just really neat to hear about all the things that have happened and how you brought Pastor Brian in and, and the friend day that you just had and blew out the doors with that. And now you're now you're in the midst of 40 days of purpose and I can't say how excited I am for you folks at Calvary to be doing what you're doing and reaching your community and having a mission there and having a new vision for what God wants you to do. So I just want to say from on the other side of the country, I want to say God bless you. I'm excited for you. I'm proud of you. I know God's working and doing wonderful things for you and just keep it up. And, uh, and I really want to make a prediction, and I hope this gets you scared just a little bit, but I know you all are going to have to real soon be thinking about adding a second service. You're not going to be able to contain the people in that room where you've got it. So I want you to think big and dream big and continue to do what God's called you to do. And come see us sometime here in Nags Head. God bless you. Bye.